Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja. Yesterday, I went over Quick Office Pro HD and we saw a couple shortcomings and it's something that a couple of them are, are, are pretty disappointing because I like to use the Zoom to give presentations and um, if the Zoom, if I'm putting a PowerPoint on my Zoom and it's not rendering correctly I cannot deliver those presentations on the Zoom. Um, for anyone who missed that app, I'm going to um, show you exactly what I'm meaning. Now, I'm, I'm in no way dissing this application. Um, Quick Office Pro is, is pretty nice and it does a lot of nice things and it's not that easy to convert from one format to another and like with any conversion, there's going to be some type of loss of information. It's just the nature of the game for the most part and um, you know we're still very much n new and the zoom is new so over time things should improve but there should be a workaround so let me uh, show you the problem and then then I'll go talk about the solution so we'll go into PowerPoint and we'll load up this PowerPoint. So you can see, this is very simple. There's some pictures, there's some text in here. But immediately, ouch, that hurts. And for anyone who wants to know what it, what it looks like, I have my uh, computer here. And I'll bring it in to play. So, you can see that, very simple, and for some reason, even that very simple format is not consistent. So what, what are we supposed to do? How, how are we supposed to work with this? Um, if you were to create the PowerPoints on your Zoom, you're actually in quite luck, because since you create it there, there's no conversion and it just works. Um, however, if you were to create them off-site and then load them in, I want to do a quick meeting, you, you know, you're going to be embarrassed probably by how it presents. So, I thought, okay, well maybe we can convert it into a PDF and then view it on a PDF. And that works fairly well, but there's no full screen PDF viewer that I found. Any viewers out there that know of one, please uh, pass it on because that would be a great solution. Um, and we could then start just using a PDF viewer, um, pop it in full screen, and then go from slide to slide. Um, but my solution actually goes even a little bit more to the extreme and there's basically an option in uh, PowerPoint and in a lot of your readers and I'll, I'll, I'll pull it pull the, the, the computer back and if you go to file you can save as pictures what does that do? That turns every single slide into a picture. And you know what? You happen to have an application on your Zoom that can view pictures in full screen. So that is exactly what I did. So if we go to gallery, I'm going to blur the, the screen just slightly because I have some private photos here. Uh -huh. Or actually it loads, it actually loaded directly to my PowerPoint. You can see, oh, here's a slide. Now it's in backwards because you can think of it as you're taking a camera. You're taking it with respect to the last picture taken, so the last, the last slide is now the first, and there's a workaround for that um, too, but um, as you can see, the slides render perfectly, they load fast, and you can swipe through very very cool the pictures load and you can now deliver PowerPoint on your zoom without worrying about the format because you go back to the basics you save it as a picture and then you just use gallery to flick through there's another uh, there's another app that just without going through any extreme um, will just display it as the time goes in 
And so I'll go to slide one. It's called Quick Pick. It's very popular. And it actually does it in time. And you can actually use your, your keyboard and probably any kind of Flickr app that you normally use for PowerPoint um, to use the arrows to navigate to the right and left. And you have all of a sudden a really nice PowerPoint. You can see with this one, it's like less than a second of transition where it takes to load the page. It's hardly noticeable, but honestly, you have a very nice way to deliver your PowerPoints and not have to worry about it not rendering correctly on the software. I hope this was useful. Um, please like this video if it helped you out. Um, please subscribe to my channel for daily video um, overviews of applications and fixes and solutions. Um, please request. Um, I'll be more than happy to show you an application that you like or um, answer any questions. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you so much.